Today we are going to be working a little more with colors. So we talked about the primary colors already, red and yellow and blue, and then we went to the complementary colors. These are the colors that uh, make each other stronger. And today we'll be talking about two other colors that are very important, black and white. And you know, between black and white, there are thousands of shades of something that's called gray. Hmm. So today I would like to do a little bit of art with you. We will be needing a paintbrush, some water, and some paints, whatever paints you have around the house. I assume most people have these watercolors. And I have also folded a piece of paper into one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different um, boxes, but you can just divide them into however many you want. And I will show you now how I did that. Now we have our paper. As you see, mine is divided into eight different squares. I will be first starting by putting my paintbrush in some water and putting it into my white. So my first box will be colored white and my paper's already white. So maybe you really don't see a difference here. Here's my white. So it's the same color, you can't really tell the difference. It's white paper. Then I dip it into water and I go to my black. Generous helping of black. And I will put this on my very last square. So you can color in the whole square or you can just make it how you like, it's yours. So there's my black. So as I said, in between white and black, there are thousands of shades of gray, but we will see how many we can make between here. So I will dip my paintbrush back into the water and I will put just a little bit of black into my white and mix a bit and put it on my next square. And then I will put a little more black. And go to my next square. And then a little more black. And so on and so forth. So I've finished my artwork. We started off with white and then we got a little bit darker into our grays. Around here you see that it starts to look about the same, but there are a little bit of differences there. So this is to show you all of the different types of grays you can have. And you know, we have gray all around us. Hmm, what kind of gray might this be? Maybe this would be... I know I have a sweater. I have a wool sweater that's around this color gray. So when I see this gray, I think of cozy sweaters when it's, when it's winter time. You know, maybe if you see this one, maybe it's the gray of an animal that you know. Hmm. My cat is many shades of gray, actually. So maybe I think about him. What are other things that could be gray? Are there certain weather? weather types that are kind of gray. Hmm. Think a little bit about it. Think about all the grays you see in your life. And you know, there are artists, famous artists, and in fact, that have made their paintings based on gray, and white and black. I will show you some examples. So now after you've done this, feel free to make an artwork if you want using only black, white, and gray. Till next time. Bye.